Hi, my name's Helen and this is my channel, Helen Mary Jo. If you're new here, then welcome. And if you're a returner, a subscriber, then thanks very much. I'm so happy to see you again and thank you so much for subscribing. Um, I'm just about, well, hopefully by the time I've edited and published this, I'll, help, I'll be up to 3,000 subscribers, which is simply fantastic. Um, so today, the bulk of the video is a try on haul from M & Co. Um, I've literally, again, just taken them out of the bag and hung them up. So they might be a bit creased, but you know, you'll just have to kind of see around that really. Um, so there's a couple of things I, I wanted to mention as we go along. I don't know if you remember this dress. This was um, one of the first videos I did from In The Style and this was 15 pounds. And um, I just, I won't like do it off the thing because you've seen it all, but you know, it's um, been washed just once, but it's so light and comfortable and easy to wear. I'm pretty pleased with it for 15 quid. I mean, really very good value. Um, the second thing I wanted to mention was the Roman Originals haul that I did, because when I did it, I mean, I wasn't familiar with the company. And a few people in the comments said, oh, I've had trouble with refunds and stuff and made me a little bit anxious about what I'd kind of stepped into. And um, indeed, I was on my way to take them back to the shop when I checked their policy and you can't return to a shop for a refund, only for a voucher. And, like, you know, it was over £100, so I absolutely didn't want a voucher. Anyway, long story short, I returned them in the post and um, I got a refund, no, no questions asked. So just to reassure anybody buying from Roman Originals, that wasn't an issue in the event. Um, I guess some people just have bad luck in that regard. So that's that. Um, what else did I want to say? Um, oh yeah, I talked about chub rub shorts and um, that resonated with a lot of people. Yeah, the thing is they wouldn't make them if there was only like one in a million people with the problem. So there's obviously hundreds and hundreds of ladies with that problem. As I say, you don't have to be overweight. It could just be the way that you're made, you know, the way your legs are shaped. And um, yeah, so I've got several pairs. I've got some from Sloggy. I've got um, Sainsbury's. I've got Marks and Spencer's and they're all cotton. And I've always had a thing, you know, we kind of brought up with cotton pants well I was certainly and if it didn't have if it wasn't cotton cotton it had to have a cotton gusset because nobody wants um a sweaty betty anyhow so I've always that's been my thing now years ago when I was in America I bought some pants and just normal pants because and I loved them they were just so comfortable they were seam free and they, they were just great. I bought about five pairs and wore them, wore them, wore them for years. Anyway, I saw, I thought, I wonder what jockey do in the in the way of um, chub rub pants. And of course, being American, they called them slip shorts. So I ordered some directly from jockey and um, these arrived. And uh, they, they, you know, they don't look terribly big and they don't actually feel terribly stretchy. Well, I was wrong. They are fantastic. They are high stretch, incredibly comfortable. They've got um, a double seam on the inside leg that goes through. And they are that high tech material that wicks away moisture. So they're incredibly cool, even though I thought they might not be. They're actually cooler than the cotton pants. Now these are 2XL, which, you know, nobody wants to be buying double XL anything, do they? But you know what, just ignore that. They are superb. I, this is my second lot actually. I've already, so I've got six pairs now. And also hanging on the line, they don't look quite so um, bloomerish, if you know what I mean. They look more like cycling shorts. So this, this, the last one I got, I got two black and a nude. This one was a nude, a black and white, which I've actually got on. They come really high, so I, can't, I could actually tuck, tuck in my bra if I felt so inclined. They smooth out your lumps and bumps, but they're not compression or anything. Anyway, I can't remember how much they are. I'll put it, I'll put the link, but they did have 40% discount if you signed up, which of course I did. 
So I would just highly, highly recommend these. Um, they arrived in about four or five days. I think they're about £26 for three pairs, which actually, as these things go, is not a bad price. So that's my real big tip, tip of the week, that is the jockey, I think they're called skim shorts. What does it say on here? Skimmies. Quite a cool name, isn't it? Skimmies. Um, original mid-length. Slip short, so that's what she looks like in it. Almost identical to me. <laughs> I wish. Anyway, so that was those. That's what I wanted to mention. Um, what else did I want to mention? Um, yeah, this is a bit of a strange one. And you know what? If if you're if you're not interested, just just fast forward till you can see the blue Helen Mary Jo thing because. I just wanted to talk about the fact that in one of my first videos, I described myself as obese because I am obese. That doesn't mean that I am uh, anything other than clinically defined as obese. Now, a few friends and family have said, I'm not obese. I said, but I am obese. Like, if I was diabetic and I said I'm diabetic, they wouldn't say, don't call yourself diabetic because there's nothing attached to that is there there's nothing attached to being diabetic people don't think oh god you know you're lazy because you're diabetic you're you're inactive because you're diabetic you eat too much because you're diabetic so you're diabetic you know what i mean there's i am clinically medically obese now that doesn't mean that well, it doesn't mean anything. It just means that medically, I am clinically obese. And it's a medical term, but it's got so many connotations and it's got so many stereotypical thought processes attached to that name. So I just wanted to put that out there and say, I don't have any problem saying I'm obese. I am um, because of my height, weight ratio and all the rest of it. And I'm, you know, I'm, I'm like not just obese, I'm... Pro at all i'm just saying i am like bona fide obese so shut up about that now helen um and uh, that's it really so they're the kind of few little bits that i wanted to just uh, touch on today and then i'll just have a little chat at the end so that's sorry about that bit of a hiccup with the microphone but hopefully it's all fine so anyway enough about all that talk um i'm going to try on the clothes and um I'll just have a little chat at the end about stuff in general. And as usual, if you don't like any of that, then just keep going. I've done my hair differently today. I was trying to do one of those kind of, um, what do they call it? Um, like beachy wave things. I think it just looks a bit of a mess, but it, you know, I, whatever. I was just giving it a go. So, um, yeah, without further ado, I will start trying the dresses on from m and co so i think there's four dresses a couple of tops and a raincoat of all things so bear with so this dress is 100 percent viscose it's reduced from 69 pounds to 26 pounds quite a heavy weight viscose um and it's got white pink blue green navy all in the um Sorry, my mic's been playing up all in the fabric. It's got sharing here. I pulled it on. I didn't undo the buttons. It's got this kind of pie cross frill, um, ties, rouleau loops, and this little placket behind, which is just falling back and showing you my bra, my tummy, everything else. You could easily fix that if you love the dress and you felt so inclined. I don't love the dress, so I don't feel so inclined. So it's buttoned all the way through with a tiered hem. Um, can you see that? Yeah, so it's got a tiered hem. The slits are just above my knee, so that's fine. Um, it's not really for me. It's kind of a bit too much going on with it. But uh, it's a nice fabric. As I say, it's shearing here. It's, it's not tight, tight, but it's not loose either. I mean, I've, I've got big arms, so you probably wouldn't have that problem. Got pockets, which is a winner. Um, it's quite fitted. There's not a lot of room in it, but it's room enough, you know. 
Um, so yeah, it's it's not really for me. It's too too much going on, and this is just ridiculous. I mean, if I'd have paid sixty nine pound for this dress, I'd have been a bit annoyed. But anyway, so that's um, dress number one. So dress number two. Um, I think this one was £26, so I, I'll link it below. It's got a nice design. It's got these angel sleeves, um, which are a nice length and very flattering. It's fitted. It's got this sharing here. It's got a side zip. One thing is, it's actually quite see-through. Like I've got white pants on, and you can see see those that end here. They're actually my jockey shorts that I was just showing you. It's quite creased. I kind of left it crease because A, I'm not keeping it, and B, I think that indicates that it will crease quite easily. I mean, you can see here, you'd, I don't know, nude, nude underwear might work for that. But um, it's a very, very fine viscose, really pretty colour. It's the aqua, which I adore. It's got quite a nice round neck. Um, but, uh, yeah, I nearly had a close one because I didn't see there was an invisible zip and then got it stuck over my head. But uh, when I was checking the fabric, which I think I said is this goes, it's like um, wash, hand washing cold water, no tumble drying, um, hanging, drying the shade, all of these exclusions, which, you know, nah. Like, you're never going to remember all that, are you? You're just going to take it off, shove it in the wash, it's not like a special dress that you would expect to take special care of. So for me, that excludes it from going into my wardrobe. Well, and it's see-through and it's a bit too fitted. So it's not like I'm gutted or anything. But um, yeah, I mean, look at that. It's not, that's not good, is it? Um, it's good length. I think, you know, if you're slimmer, may well be a really nice dress for you. But it's not for me, I'm afraid. So that's number two. So this is dress number three. This is 100% polyester, and um, I'll be changing out of this as quick as I can. There's Dolly, absolutely unimpressed. It's a nice dress in as much as it's got this um, nice cuff of sharing here and long sleeves, and it's completely shared here. It's, um, you know, shows my bust off. Um, shared at the back, and then it's... Um, Quite a lot, nice long length with two tiers and uh, a seam here and a seam just on below my knee. As I say, it's 100% polyester. It's, it's obviously more of an autumnal dress. And this one was £30 from £50. But the strange thing is I can't find any care label inside it. So it just says on the website, it just says a gentle 30 degree wash. So like that's fine, you know, it's probably going with the rest of my washing. But um it's a nice spot. It's, I like this colour. It's like this dusky pink. It's very kind of autumnal. Not today. I think it's 20, 27, so it's a bit warm. Anyway, so that's dress number three. This dress is um, £24 from £49, and it's viscose and elastane. It's quite a, a reasonably thick um, cotton. It's, the sleeves just are in the wrong place for me there. Um, but you know, it's quite a nice shape. I'll just move that slightly. Um, it's It's got this shaped waistline and um, the pockets here. Um, it's kind of, I know it sounds daft. I think it's like a, a day at the harbour kind of dress. But I don't know if that makes any sense at all, but it's kind of got a bit of a sporty vibe to it. Very comfortable. It's a little bit like the leopard print dress that I tried on from Marks. Um, but uh, it's got the, all these different bright colours in it. It's, it's quite a nice dress. If it had a longer sleeve, I might be tempted. But I think it, it's probably quite um, like broadening across my hip. So, um, yeah. yeah. Not a great haul for me, really. But it gives you an idea of what they're their sizes and things alike and uh, I think on the right person this would be I, I'd probably see this on someone else and think it was lovely to be honest um but it's just not ticking enough boxes for me you know I've got so many clothes that they have to tick all the right boxes for me to actually keep it now I'm looking at that I, I, I guess all the lines kind of go down curve down like that 
so um yeah i'm just gonna take this off because it's rather warm and then i'll show you the other bits because i'll be honest with you my hip is killing me i've been standing up for too long and so i'm just going to show you the other bits um the, there's two tops i'll show you those on the hanger and um, then i'll just i'll just pop the raincoat on which you won't really get a good view of it but I'm, i'll do my best and show you what it's like okay thanks a lot so this is a bit bonkers because I've just literally slipped this on over the dress and I might spontaneously combust live on camera, uh, but I'll take that chance uh, just to not to get changed again. So this was reduced from $59.99 to $23.99 and it's a nice raincoat in leopard print. Um, unfortunately, the, ho uh, the hood is um, not detachable, which I do prefer a detachable hood, but then you can bet you always detach the hood and then you wish you had it in a rain rain cloud um it's got the drawstring here to to give it some you know shape you can kind of without doing it up you can pull those back to give you some waist it's a good length actually i mean it looks stupid over this but you know i'm just quickly showing you what it looks like on an 18 i could do it up no problem it's got um like the little slit there hasn't got one of those double-ended zips so you know if you sit down um, you haven't got the option to loosen it up. Got a nice sleeve. I don't know what you think. I don't know if it's a bit Pat Butcher. If you're not from England, she was the landlady at uh, in the EastEnders pub. Um, well, in the Vic on the East, on EastEnders, which is a, a soap set in London. Um, but I thought it was worth a pump. For 24 quid, I think it's quite a cool looking raincoat, really. Um, easy to slip on and off i'd say it's probably just shower proof i'll just look for you um 100 polyester yeah i i expect it's shower proof i wouldn't say it's rainproof so anyway just wanted to quickly show you that and i'll quickly get the tops and show you those um off off on the hanger because you know quite honestly it's just too hot to try them on and have a little chat and then I'll, I'll wrap it up. Thanks a lot. That's better. So um, this this little jumper that I picked up, which, yeah, I, th I think it's nice. It's a very fine knit and it says, you are my, and then obviously it's a picture of a lobster, which I think is a line out of Friends. It's really a uh, fine knit and it's got this lovely pink edge. Uh, little binding on the inside and then each of the sleeves is edged in pink uh, it's got nice long slits to the side if I cool down a little bit I'll slip it on for you um, but it's their range called Coast K-H-O-S-T and it is polyester acrylic nylon and wool I never buy anything that's pure acrylic because I just cannot they just don't survive in the wash with me um, I'll pop it on for you if I burst into flames, call the fire brigade. Um, but I think this would look nice going into uh, autumn. It, when it's so hot like this, it's hard to kind of really remember that you know this is unusual weather even for our summer. Um, let's see. Yeah, it's not bad. Let me let me just take it down. Not badly. I would probably wear a shirt or a t-shirt under it to make it that bit longer. I'm actually quite tempted by that because um, quite a cool pattern on the front. I think it's a little bit, a little bit different. You know, with a pair of jeans or, you know, I love those uh, magic trousers. What did I say? It was twenty, twenty-two pounds. Yeah. Oh look, it's got like a pink, pink. Well, upside down heart here, I guess. Not keen on hearts, but anyway, that's um, that's the jumper. And then I'm not even going to get this out of the packet because I just don't like the colour when it arrives. This colour can be really nice or it can just be a little bit, I don't know, kind of cheap looking. And for me, this just went into the cheap looking. I got this in the 20, but it'll probably be big enough, but it's just, it's just not my thing. But um, I 
yeah. Oh gosh, my hip is so bad today. Oh, roll on the x-ray next week. Um, yeah, so that's M and Co. Now, I don't know about you, but I, M and Co confuses me a lot because they do have some um my hair's going mad. Uh they do have some really nice things in there. But I used to think it was a cheap shop, you know, or not not cheap, let's rephrase that, inexpensive shop. And so I didn't really ever go in there. My daughter lives near Egham and there's one there. So I used to, you know, when I would visit her, I'd pop in there and just really buy kids things. Um, but like some of those things were, you know, the original price was like up in the sort of 70 pound bracket. So they obviously changed their demographic of who they're aiming their clothes at. But what I would say is that if you, if you sign up with them, they're always like every other couple of weeks they're offering you 20 25 percent off so i would never ever buy anything in their full price um they are always offering discounts which yeah when shops do that on a regular basis i don't know whether they inflate their price so that then when they do the 20 percent, it's kind of what they were hoping to get in the first place so whether they're truly 20 percent off but you know why would you pay that inflated price when you know without a doubt i mean there was no offer i didn't get an email but I just had a little search for a discount code and, and found 20% off of um, everything I bought anyway. So, yeah, so, yeah, it's a bit of an enigma, m and Co. I'm not sure about it. The, the clothes are nice enough quality and um, got nothing against it as a store. Uh, unfortunately, today, maybe I'll keep the lobster jumper. I haven't really decided. Like I say, it's really hard to um, think about jumpers when it's so, so very hot. I think there's no there's no rain on the forecast for the next ten days anyway for sure, um. So, yeah. Anyway, I had my friends down for lunch yesterday. That was lovely, and then we've got the funeral on Thursday, grandson Friday, um, up in London next week. It's a busy old time. Then my sister in laws coming to stay for a week, so I'm going to have to be organised to get you guys another video, which I really want to do. Like I'm really enjoying it, so. I hope you can bear with me, be patient, keep watching, keep commenting, and um, yeah, let's enjoy this ride together. Is it a ride? Yeah, it's a journey of some description, one I never thought I'd be on, but I'm loving it. So thanks again, and I'll see you soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.